Rubiano Rasu checking in. Cockpit Talk Podcast. You know, um, fly conversations from a fly point of view, from a fly motherfucker like me. So, yeah, on today's episode, we checking in, man, and, you know, we checking back in with this Will Smith and Jada Pinkett shit. So now Will say he want a divorce. He say he tired of being in the Tupac shadow and this woman embarrassing him and, and you know what I mean? He finally, he finally decided to get some balls. Finally decided. It's going to cost him 400 M's, but it, it's going to give him, you know, independence it's going to give him the woman that love him. It's going to give him the right woman that's going to love him the right way. So I just think this should be an example to the fellas out there that's trapped in these relationships with these women because of the kids or because of, you know, financial purposes or whatever. But get on your feet, man, and go, man. Don't be embarrassed no more. Don't let nobody embarrass you. You do not deserve to be embarrassed. You deserve to be cherished. And that's real. If if ain't nobody cherishing you, man, what is what what is what am I being faithful to you for? So like I said at the end of the day, you know, if is after we get an apology to Chris Rock, a real one, because you lost your cool, then man, you know, Jada bald head itself could go be a bald head scallywag with the rest of these chicks. She been a bald head scallywag, so we just gonna let her remain. You just put your whole career on the line for this chick, and 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 now she don't even respect it. Talking about you still after, man. And time is up. Time is up. So let's stand behind Will, fellas, through this divorce, cause it's gonna get rough. It's gonna get rough, cause cause the, the chick is broke. The chick is broke. So it's gonna get rough on Will. It's it, it's gonna get tight. You know what I'm saying? He ain't going to have that little old thing. You know what I mean? Her little boy himself probably been grapefruiting him and all type of... So, you know, he he, he ain't... He going to be missing for a minute. But it's going to make him stronger. It's going to make him a stronger person. There's other bald head scallywags out there you could be wifing that'll make you feel better than what she doing. Talking about you, talking about your relationship... Like talking about Tupac. She really ruined your life, bro. She really ruined your life. On some real shit, though. Like, this is the, you the fresh prince. You the fresh prince. Summertime. It ain't no way you should have drove down that street or doing that to Chris Rock. No way. It's no way. What was that other one? Six degrees of separation. You done, you, come on, man. You done, you done been, you, you a star, pimp. You a star. It ain't no way motherfuckers should be throwing roses at your feet like like in like in um coming to America. People should women should be throwing roses at your feet. If you are not getting treated like that, man, Jada, I ain't never seen her look good. I ain't never seen she ain't designer like like um like like Dr. Dre wife. She said her outfits is is ten thousand a month and Jada is not spending ten thousand a month on no outfits. That shit do not be designer. Them little summer dresses she wear all the time. She a freak. She probably like to be naked all the time. So you don't need to buy no clothes. You don't need to buy no clothes because you like to be naked all the time because you nasty. So you don't, you don't need no clothing for no wardrobe. She she look like she make her own clothes. That's how she look, man. So. At the end of the day, bro, we're going to stand by Will. We're going to hold him down just like we we'll hold one of our brothers down that was fucking with a prostitute, you know what I mean? Or, 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 or one of our brothers or cousins or uncles that was just fucking with a chick that wasn't right. So let's help him out in his time of need because she was a bad chick. She was bad in looks and she was the bad apple like Snow White. She was the bad apple. Bite that apple, man, and it's been turmoil for the rest of your career. He been playing makeup to Tupac his whole career, bro. It's been rough. Tupac was a real kind of ill dude, so it been rough. She don't got nobody to say them poems to her and all that and tell her she a black woman. It's the same nigga. I was getting jiggy with it. Come on, man. Miami. He ain't, come on, blood. Come on. He ain't finna be... Throwing no thug poetry to you and 
throwing you up against the wall and you know what I'm saying? No. He ain't finna do all that. He's a gentleman. He's a gentleman. So what I'm saying, fellas, is let's let's stand together. Let's stand together. These women always stand together. Let's stand together, fellas. Let's hold Will down in his time of need. Cause he need us right now. He need us. He need us like that that player that's on our team that ain't been scoring. But you got to pass the ball to him to get him some. Come on, bro. I know you've been tripping, Will. I know you've been tripping, but we, we finna bring you back. I finna give you this assist, and we gonna bring you back, bro. We gonna bring you back, bring you back to being a player. And I'm not saying being a player is good, but you've been hurt. You, 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 you need to go out there and swing that thing a little bit. Just a little bit. You got to get you some girth back, bro, because she done. Not only did she take your soul. She took your, your, your future. She took your, your identity. She took your confidence. She took a lot of shit, bro. So what you got to do, Will, is you got to take that back from these other chicks. I'm sorry. That's just how it's going to go. I'm sorry. I mean, you know, if you fall in love around the way, then, I, but, but I doubt it. I doubt it. Love is not in your corner right now. So don't try to go run into somebody else because of Jada fuck. No, bro, just come with the fellas. Come over for this barbecue. You know what I'm saying? You got to buy all the food and the drink because you was tripping. And just come hang out, bro. Eat these shish kebabs and drink these Modelo's and, you know what I'm saying, drink a little bit of Casamigos. We might call some strippers, bro. Come hang out, bro. Stop being all uptight, man. Be yourself, man. 76ers, you know what I mean? Be Philadelphia, bro. You know what I'm saying? So let's moving on. Moving on. You know, Ari. <sighs> Ari. I'm I'm a fan, okay? I'm a fan. I've been clapping. I've been clapping. Cause you 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 a bad chick to me. You a bad. So I've been clapping for your wins. G Herbo was a win. Money bag was a win. You're losing now, okay? You're losing. Why would you be twerking like that? You 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 damn near like a celebrity now, lady. You're damn near like a celebrity. Why would you be twerking with your son playing in the background? Like it's it's different with a, if you would have did a little five little second little ah ah like you know I'm I'm getting money in my boot no. Five seconds is what I'm, five, five seconds. You really busting this shit open, making faces like you enjoying busting this shit open while your son playing with a balloon in the background. What the fuck is wrong with you? What the fuck is wrong with you? I don't care how old you is. You still a parent at the end of the day. You still a parent. So in money bag, yo, kicked your ass to the curb because that's just a terrible woman. Not only are you a terrible parent, you a terrible woman. I don't want no terrible woman. We could argue, we could fight. The, the, the pussy might be amazing, but you a terrible person? I can't do that. You, you got to go. You got to go. And I'm going to watch that big ass booty and your pretty ass walk out. And, and, and I'm, not, I'm not insensitive. I'm not going to take, you know, all your, all your belongings. I'm not going to take everything I gave, but you got to go. You got, you got to get out. You got to get out. The next time I see you, I might be seeing you on TV with child services or something. Because that is that is just totally wrong. It's totally wrong as a mother. Totally wrong. Totally wrong. You deserve to be alone, to think about what's going on, what you did. You know what I mean? Because you be all on social media with the bullshit, you know, talking about G Herbo and how he do his kids. And Man, you, you are a terrible mother. That is terrible terrible of you and i'm very disappointed because i'm a fan i'm a fan so i'm very disappointed in you very i can't under so why would you drive down that street like even letting somebody slap your ass or touching your own ass how many times have your son seen that how many times have he seen somebody slapping your ass or you slapping your own ass or you spreading your cheeks and rubbing your cheeks. That's what you want your son. You want your son to have a girlfriend like that, right? That's what you want. You want your son to like shit like that. You don't want him to be in the books watching Coco Melons. 
know what I'm saying? Watching Diana Romas, you know what I'm saying? Eating slime. You want him watching you twerk your ass at parties. I'm done, Ari. I'm done. I'm done. <sighs> I didn't want I didn't want to do this. I didn't want to do this because I'm a, I'm a former athlete. But why is it that every time in the news we see one of these ex athletes doing domestic violence, particularly football players? Listen, you are a beast in a gorilla on the field. Why the hell would you put your hands on a woman? And I'm not saying that's the only reason why you shouldn't, but that's even more of a reason why you shouldn't. The first reason you shouldn't because domestic violence is wrong. The second thing is you up here slapping, running, chasing, biting, kicking, scratching against niggas all day, and you want to put your hands on a woman? One of the reports I just seen, a nigga talking about he going to kill the kids and he going to kill... Man, these niggas is, I don't know if they falling from grace from the top and going to the bottom or if they on a steroid steroid rage or what, but kill the kids all because of the bitch. Listen to me, man. You was at the top of the motherfucking world. You could have had any woman you wanted. Why would you want to kill this woman over your kids? I don't care how many dicks she done sucked. I don't care how many niggas she done fucked with. How many girls she done fucked with? How she done embarrassed your name? Bruh, domestic violence is wrong. The only way you gonna get back is fucking another bitch. That's the only way. That's the coldest dagger. Domestic violence, you ain't gonna win, champ. You ain't gonna win. And you ex-NFL, you got cha-cha. You got the bag. You got the bag and you want to be out here Mike Tyson and the bitch doing like Floyd Mayweather threatening the bitch, threatening the kids. Them is terrorist threats, champ. Them terrorist threats. I seen Richard Sherman all drunk on the ringtone, crazy. Man, these, these athletes, um, these ex-athletes, some of these regular, some of these athletes currently and these ex-ones. What? I guess, I guess money just give you the power to just act crazy and beat on bitches. Listen to me, man. A nigga beat on my daughter, I'm going to be in under the motherfucking jail, okay? Okay, because my daughter is pretty. She might get one of you suck-ass NFL niggas. Listen to me, bruh. Listen to me, okay? Look at this face, nigga. I will kill you and you everything you own, okay? Everything you own. So please, keep your hands to yourself. Keep your hands to yourself. Go smoke some weed. Go... Talk to yourself in the mirror. Go punch a punching bag. Go step on the cat. Go kick the dog. Go throw the turtle out the window. Do not put your hands on that woman. Do not put your hands on somebody's baby. Or you're going to suffer the consequences, man. And it ain't jail. Jail ain't the consequences. Beating your ass is the consequence. So unless you want these hands, keep your hands to yourself. I ain't calling the police. I ain't doing none of that about mine. But let's get, like, all I'm saying is keep your hands to yourself. I don't care if you're in the MLB, NFL, NHL, NBA, NBA. I don't care. Keep your hands to yourself. It's all type of shit you could do. You could do yoga. You could go get you a bitch to give you some hair so you could get over it. The like, man, do not put your hands on that woman. I don't care if she in your face. I don't care if she hit you first. As soon as she hit you first, run away. That don't make you a sucker. That do not make you a sucker. If a woman put her hands on me, I'm running away. I don't give a fuck. You think I'm finna stand there and fight a woman? I wish you would. Go ahead and hit me. I'm running. I'm out of there. I ain't calling the police. I ain't doing nothing. Matter of fact, when I get on the freeway, I'm going to block your number. How about that? That's what I'm going to do. That's that's what I'm going to do. That's better than a left jab. I'm going to block your number so you can talk talk to the voicemail. Talk to the voicemail. Leave me a message. You can't even talk to me. Oh, then you want to start calling private? Then you want to start calling private? I'm going to put a privacy block on my... Then who you going to talk to then? Better talk to Siri. But like I said, man... You know, Sarasu, Cockpit Talk Podcast, man. 
You know, we just giving you a fly conversations, you know, from a fly point of view, from a fly gangster. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, but check it, right? You know, at the end of the day, I'm a humble guy. But if you push me, I'm a killer. Don't push me, man. Don't push me. This for everybody. Come at me with respect. This is not just for me. This is advice to everybody. You go at people with respect. You respect people. You're going to get respect back. You come at me with disrespect. I'm coming at you with more disrespect, even 10 times harder, because I cherish my respect. Cherish my respect. I cherish yours. I'm out of this thing. Cockpit talk, flying out, fly forever or die yesterday.